Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show some settings that I have set in BIOS for my MSI MEG X670E Ace motherboard combined with an AMD Ryzen 7950X. So let's get started and I hope you will find this video useful. So first, hit the uh, BIOS using the F12 button or, uh, once your PC is booting in order to access this page or MSI click BIOS 5 and make sure that your BIOS is updated to the latest version that is available on the MSI website so check it out I'll include the page for the for this motherboard BIOS uh, update page so you can use it so let's get started first hit to settings so you are there go to advanced mode using the F7 by default it's uh, set on easy mode so just click on uh, F7 and you would, uh, uh, you would access the advanced mode so click it and go to settings click on advanced PCIe PCI subsystem settings make sure resize bar support is enabled it depending on your motherboard go back and go to integrated graphics configuration make sure the integrated graphics card is disabled go down and disable the power management setup disable all and your bias on UEFI go back and go to security and go to trusted computing disable all chassis intrusion configuration also disable and finally secure boot also disable this one these are not my recommendation but I've read some articles that uh, said some settings could make uh, your boot time slower due to this uh, secure uh, procedures that uh, Windows go through so I just decided to disable them so go back and go to OC OC Explore mode to expert advanced CV configuration go to that and disable SVM for virtualization of the CPU I disabled it go to AMD CVS and make sure global C state control is disabled because I've noticed and read many articles that say it it uh, interfered with the stability of the system so I also got random reboots uh, on low to idle state so even without having any overclocking so i i've read that some people also had this problem and disabling c state uh, um, made the system more stable overall so go back and go to amd overclocking ln2 mode disabled precision boost overdrive Make sure it's set on advanced and give your limits to motherboard and precision boost overdrive scaler to auto and CPU boost clock override disabled and CPU boost override this auto and thermal throttle limit to auto and the GVX curve optimizer go to it and make sure it's disabled because this is only for the integrated graphics card so since we disabled it uh, at uh, an earlier stage so uh, it's not uh, necessarily so just go back go to curve optimizer and all cores set to negative 5 
even though this is value is not very high i mean five is not much of a change anyway but uh, for now i'm just experimenting with the uh, stability of the system overall and then i'll try to do more uh, to play more with the curve and uh, i just upload uh, i'll just upload another video stating my settings uh, my uh, what my findings are gonna be but for now i just went simple with the uh, settings in order to have a stable system at, at least go back and go to expo enable expo and also if you have msi motherboard this exact one i found this setting called high efficiency mode which optimize settings for gaming uh, for gaming better for memory uh, performance so i just enabled it and uh, i didn't notice any problem with the stability of system but i'll just uh, test it for now and if you find it that it's causing some instability issues i just disable it so for the rest dg power i've just set all to auto as i said i want just to have for now a stable system without any overheating so uh, when i played with those uh, settings i noticed that my idle temperature went uh, way higher so for now i don't want to to cause any uh, overheating for no reason because you know the ryzen uh, 7 series uh, 7000 series is uh, is way hotter than the previous one so uh, uh, because of the higher clock uh, higher clock speed so it's causing some temperature raise uh, from generation to generation so I've just set it all to auto and also you can go to hardware monitor and set your uh, fans uh, speed and uh, mode i've set mine to smart fan mode and also the uh, to PW, uh, pwm instead of dc to have a, a better control of the motherboard and then go to oc profile in order to save your profile overclocking profile click on it choose whatever you have i have set already to this one go to this one and then uh, save overclocking profile you can rename it and then go to go back to settings save and exit and save changes and reboot and then it's done i do hope that the settings help you with your having your system stable and uh, up to up to some speed I, I mean some expose uh, for the ram uh, it would help to set the expo profile and uh, yeah um, i just want to state that uh, having an an expo ram enabled uh, would cause your reboot time to to be slower especially on the code uh, number 15 it would stay on that code for training the ram each time you reboot your system and it's normal in the OC menu there is an option called memory context restore that reduce the booting time when you enable expo however i found it a bit unstable so i disabled it for now so if, if it's stuck on code 15 just leave it be and uh, just do something else until it's done but don't worry it's it's working and it will just eventually boot normally but it's like this for everyone maybe in future bios update it will uh, solve this problem hopefully so that's it and uh, I hope you like this video please leave your comments and uh, uh, please if you have found this video to be useful just subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos I'll try to to update more and uh, do more uh, more tweaking with this motherboard and CPU also I have an RTX uh, 4090 with this one so I, I can guarantee you guys that the performance is insane from the last generation and I also some settings uh, about overclocking the 
RTX 4090 using afterburner so stay tuned for this one and I'll show some difference and benchmarks so that's it and see you on the next one